E-mini S&Ps open up the week, seeing a narrow range and holding just below unchanged from Friday's close. The range today, 45.52 up to 45.70 marks 18 points. It's the third lowest trading range of the year. The lowest trading range of the year came on Friday, which was 12 points, and that was during a holiday shortened session. Now, since the end of October, E-minis have rallied about 10%. That's during a period which we saw the market shift from expecting rate hikes to rate cuts. Equities have celebrated that, seeing a big move again, 10% from the end of October, leaving the market just about 1.5% short of the year-to-date high. But again, seeing a very quiet trade today in a very narrow range, third narrowest of 2023, holding E-minis at 45.65. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, as we've talked about, volatility moves inversely to the indices. So as we've seen vol our indices rally 10% over the last month or so, we've seen volatility come down. It's come down quite sharply. In fact, the VIX index marked a new year-to-date low today and marked at its lowest since January of 2020. Lastly, let's talk about what we have tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesday. We get consumer confidence. We get Richmond Fed. We also get earnings, which will continue to filter out. But the market will be looking forward to Friday when we hear from the Fed chair. He'll be speaking twice on Friday. Likewise, the following week, we will start to get some bigger data points, including non-farm payroll. So opening up the week, we see E-minis treading water, seeing a very narrow range, third narrowest of 2023, ahead of tomorrow's Richmond Fed, consumer confidence, and more earnings.